Hello everyone, welcome back to No Shave January. Uh, November got extended, so here we are. I uh, hope you're doing very well. I hope you are starting uh, this 2022 very, very well uh, in whatever you're doing. And I have a new video uh, with hopefully a lot of value for everyone doing um, gig economy. Uh, because if you're not following, following me on TikTok, it's been so much fun there. <laughs> I get so many comments on, on videos that I do there. And uh, if you haven't followed, go, go check the, the TikTok account. Uh, it's pretty fun. And I've been getting a lot of comments on the badges that I do that, oh yeah, minus gas, minus your car depreciation and blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. So uh, this video is going to be like all the downsides that I see uh, by doing gig economy. Instacart, DoorDash, uh, Lyft, Amazon Flex, uh, whatever other apps you do. And this is just my personal opinion. And we'll see uh, three parts. Uh, or basically to uh, yourself and, and your, your assets or, or your tools to work, we will call it tools, your car and uh, your, your well-being. So yeah, before we start, give this video a like and share with everyone. Uh, if you appreciate my content, also subscribe if you haven't yet, because I think like 80% of you watching haven't subscribed. So uh, that's a way to say thank you. For, uh, to me to uh, for all the content and all the videos that I do so yeah let's get started first I got your mental which is probably something that we don't really talk about but um, since I've been working uh, with a psychologist for the past uh, about 10 months I will know yeah, maybe uh, April 2021 and um, I started for uh, personal reasons but uh, with the months uh, going on uh, we started seeing uh, what I like to call financial anxiety. I started becoming obsessed uh, with with retirement and what I'm going to do when I'm 60 or 65 and I cannot work anymore because I'm sure all of you agree that we are not going to retire on these uh, platforms themselves. So I hope if you are on a, a regular job and you have a 401k, good. If you don't have a regular job, I recommend you to open a Roth IRA so that you can start uh, adding money for your retirement. So I started becoming obsessed with this. Uh, if you want to start, links in the description to sign up on Weibull or Robinhood. Um, so uh, me and my psychologist started working on this because it was uh, giving me really a lot of anxiety and I was uh, working a lot of hours like I still do, but I enjoy it more now than I used to uh in the beginning of 2021 because it was just like work 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 and with no purpose and so yeah mental health uh, i think is very important um i write down here uh shopper friends because sometimes in the stores we see people or, or other shoppers colleague shoppers that uh are doing the same like we do and i don't know about you but there are some people that don't say hi or nothing like that and we know and they know and we all know that we're doing the same thing. But I found a way to start talking to them and then just becoming some sort of friends, uh, even though we don't like go out and eat or whatever. Uh, I did with some of the uh, shoppers that I met in Atlanta. Actually, Orain, one of my best friends right now, uh, he was a subscriber and uh, we started doing this. And now he's my bro. So I recommend you uh, for... Uh, your mental health, I believe, to start talking to people, make shopper friends, share tips in your area, get to know more people. Even though until some point we are all competents or we are our own competition, I, I believe it's very, very important to be in peace with everyone and cheer everyone. And whenever they get a better batch than me, I'm like, yeah, go get it. And, you know, all that. Or some jokes like, hey, leave some for me, please. And, you know, all that. I like to make people... Uh, smile yeah even on lift so yeah that's that's one thing and that's one of the reasons also i opened a chat uh, for instacart shoppers uh it didn't really work the way that i thought uh but it's still uh up if you want to join you go to my patreon you just need to have a discord account and link that on my patreon and that will be uh automatically set up and sent you to the discord chat for instacart shoppers so that for mental health, uh, make shopper friends, 
Um, join Discord if you want, if you want to chat with me and all the shoppers around this uh, the US. And retirement. I think that's very important that is at least is being given me peace of mind on this sort of call uh, financial anxiety uh, that, that I started having or anxiety because of the finances you know thinking of the future that's an anxiety worrying too much about the future and depression worrying too much about the past uh, but I'm not a um, psychologist I'm not an expert so if, if you are struggling with something like this I encourage you to to reach uh, professional help also physical health um, I don't know about you but when I'm sitting a lot of time on the car uh, at least my legs start feeling uh, weak some sort of pain so and I haven't really been working out a lot until lately I think it started uh, when I came back from vacation uh, uh, from Hawaii in December so uh, what I do in the morning when I wake up is just some squats and push-ups and then work on on my apps I also go to the gym sometimes uh, when I come back from work if I come back early to make you know more uh, specific uh, routines uh, on the gym so that's one thing and also uh, be careful of what you eat I've noticed at least on myself uh, when I eat a lot of fast food or crazy food you know, all these pimples start popping so yeah and also I believe and a lot of you are older than me you'll give me the reason that uh, with the you know the older we get the the least that we can uh, process these things and it's it gets kind of more expensive to or body uh, to to really accept these these kind of food so yeah that's um, my recommendation uh, do some uh, workout exercise I eat some squats that's been really helping me to not feel uncomfortable when I'm sitting a lot of, a lot of time on the car. Uh, since I also do lift and not only Instacart so that's two um, and then your car because this was the funniest thing on, on TikTok <laughs> a lot of people I don't know if they're just complaining or they're trying to make me look like I'm an idiot or uh, they don't really know how this works uh, so yeah they were all like oh, yeah your car your car your car yeah thank you for worrying about my car I think I'm doing well. My car is doing very well, thank you. Uh, I take care of it uh, very, very well. So I wanted to break down uh, the expenses that, that I have so that you can be more um, aware or more conscious uh, about all the expenses. And I'm gonna break this. I did also break this in a previous video. I think it was uh, like four months ago. I'm gonna link it somewhere here or here. I don't know where, but somewhere there. Um, but uh, just to make it easy, I'm not going to consider gas expense on this because I'm going to consider only the um, basic maintenance. Oh, excuse me. Oil change, air filters, and uh, fluids like the windshield wipers, uh, fluid washer, whatever, brakes, and tires. Those are the four basic things that I'm always watching and checking and measuring on my car. And, you know, you have to change all these after some amount of miles. Like, and I want you to take a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and write down all these. Like I did on here already. I did the math for you. Well, at least for me. Uh, but I want you to do this so that you can see your numbers and see how much you are actually spending not only on gas every day but I'm going to give you the breakdown of how much it costs you per mile to drive your car on maintenance on basic maintenance okay so let's go to that please for my car oil change um, I round up to a hundred bucks I know it's a lot of money I actually pay like 70 something or yeah like 70 but I round up to a hundred because I do tire rotation this is very very important for your car uh, put the tires from the rear side on the front side and the front to the rear side so they wear uh, they wear out evenly so when I do that it's close to a hundred uh, bucks and that's every 5,000 miles so you have 100 divided by 5,000 miles 
and that's going to give you the amount of money uh, that you spend on oil change per mile okay i know it sounds complicated but it's pretty easy now uh filters i consider cabin air filter if you don't know what a cabin air filter i'm gonna link also one of the shorts that i did on changing your cabin air filter air filter for your uh, engine and i also consider here uh the windshield wiper washer fluid or whatever that thing to wash your windshield um and i put 100 dollars every 20,000 miles that's uh how often i change my air filters and then the brakes i just replaced the front brake pads on my car my car is a 2021 mazda cx5 and um, I did it myself because I've done it a lot of times in previous cars. My dad's mechanic, so I learned with him on the shop. And I know how to do it. So what I did is I just went to the Mazda dealership. I bought the front brake pads only. I didn't replace the discs uh, or the rotors. I didn't work the rotors. Um, so I just paid like 75 bucks for the brake pads. And I changed them. And I had to buy some tools and cleaning stuff. So it was up like for 150 after I bought tools because I didn't have the proper tools. So it was just 150 and I spent like two hours changing the brake pads. But I uh, recommend you to go ask your mechanic if, if you don't know how to do this or you don't want to do this, um, how much is the labor for changing front brake pads and work the rotors and same thing for, for the rear side. Uh, what I found on this car is that front brake pads, uh, and this is like a rule of uh, thumb uh, for most cars, but especially for these, the brake pads on the front wore now a lot quicker at 50,000 miles. And uh, the rear side still has like 60 or 50% life, so it's kind of weird. But yeah, I mean, that's good for me because it's going to have like an offset expense, let's say, if I would have changed all brake pads front and rear and rotors front and rear it would have been like 500 bucks but since i just had to do one axle just the front is half of the cost uh, of course i didn't pay labor because i did it myself uh, but I'm, I, I wrote down 400 dollars every 50,000 miles so that's going to give you the amount of money that you are spending on brakes every mile that you drive and also tires when I was looking for tires, I realized that having uh, sport looking tires and size, it's very, very expensive. The cheapest tires that I found for my car was 950 something, actually at Costco, uh, bought and installed. Very expensive. There's not many options on this car, uh, on this wheel size. So I just put 900, did I say 9,000? No, 900, $900 every 50,000 miles there's a lot of options if you have a more normal car with no normal car with no sport uh, wheels uh, that there's some tires a uh, Walmart with a uh, warranty of uh, 80,000 miles or 70,000 miles it depends on where you live uh, if it's a lot of rain I don't recommend those uh, long life because the rubber or, or the material in the tires tends to be hard and it doesn't have a lot of grip so if you live in a place that rains a lot uh, it's probably not a good idea to use these these tires uh, but yeah it's up to you so you take the price of your tires and divide it by the amount of miles that you can drive with them so in my case is uh, uh, 900 every 50,000 miles and then you add everything up let's see I have all the math here uh, where's the mouse here's the mouse Okay, so I have uh, 0 0.2 uh, uh, two cents uh, for oil change, 0 0.005 for filters, 0 0.008 for brakes, and 0 0.18 uh, dollars or 18 cents for tires. So that gives me a total of uh, 5 cents per mile um, in maintenance. So every mile that I drive cost me 5 cents. And it's very important that you keep in mind this number uh, because that's gonna give you, or you can start, you can start putting this money on the side for when the maintenance maintenance comes. So let's say one day you drive 100 miles, 
you have to save five bucks. If you draw 200 miles, you have to save 10 bucks for maintenance. And that's gonna be adding up. It's like a little piggy bank uh, saving for, for your own car. I really recommend you to get the best maintenance for your car because it's your tool to work. If your car is in good shape and you keep it up with maintenance and you pay the good maintenance, one is gonna be tax deductible. I mean, ask your CPA, no tax advice. I'm not a tax expert, um, but uh, you can do that. And then you are sure that your car is gonna last maybe a little bit longer and then you don't, you won't have to spend uh extra money on more expensive maintenance because you didn't take care of your car well when you could so yeah there you have it best maintenance by the best oil by the best filters by the best brakes um the best tires if you can um you can uh, uh, work on that not the most expensive of course uh but yeah be sure that if you take care of your car your car is gonna take care of you and yeah so quick recap uh your car, uh, keep track of your expenses, not only for your taxes, but also so that you are not surprised uh, when you have to change brakes, when you have to change tires. I have these little uh, measure tools for the tires and for the brakes, and I have a air pressure gauge also on, on my car so I can keep checking tire pressure and all that. Um, uh, so that's your car. Physical health, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what to eat, but <laughs> uh, I'm sure that uh, we all agree that we have to eat uh, healthier, especially us that we spend so much time outside. It's really tempting to just go get something, uh, fast food, uh, Chick-fil-A, I love Chick-fil-A or whatever, you know, uh, check that. And also uh, be mindful or, or, or watch uh, your, your mental health, because that's very, very important, even if you're having good day or you're making a lot of money like I was doing when I started 2021 I was not feeling well and that was one of the reasons so I started working with my psychologist and uh, you know everything actually <laughs> this channel was born uh, in, in one of the therapy seasons sessions whatever you call it um, and uh, yeah we've been working on, on goals and, and all that stuff so this channel recommends to go to therapy if you believe that it fits for you so yeah that's all um i hope you like this video i hope you subscribe i hope i added value to what you do and i hope you learn something i hope you share it and i hope you like it hit the thumbs up that helps helps me a lot and also subscribe again and um yeah bye